everyone, it's Sunday and that means it's time for simmers like you to find out what happened during the week. We continue the X-Plane 12 streak as there are a lot of exciting news around the new version of the sim but also a review on a fantastic piece of hardware. As usual, I will add all the relevant links in the video description. Carl Leclerc released a beta of version 3.0 of the OH58 Kiowa Warrior which cannot be used with X-Plane 12. Just make sure you understand that this is still a beta so there may be some issues. Also make sure you read the instructions as there are some settings that you need to change to ensure everything goes smoothly and this includes assigning your throttle access to the wing sweep instruction. You'll also find two different versions on the downloads page. You will need to pick the right one for your sim. Find where to download it on our website. With the release of X-Plane 12, the community seems to be torn between those who are enjoying the sim and those who are not happy with the evolution of the product. Is X-Plane 12 worth it? Well, on my article, which you can find on our website, I go through my reasoning behind why I believe this version is a good one, and I also offer you my perspective on X-Plane updates in general. In case you're wondering why I'm just providing my initial thoughts and not a full-blown review, the product has not reached a final version yet. I do provide my thoughts and my insights but I don't really do any kind of review with rates or scores. Take a look at the article and let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are about the latest version of X-Plane. For developers, a lot has changed in X-Plane 12 and Forrest Kaufman, the man behind AOA, realized that and developed a small tool to help developers find some of the files that need editing. This tool, which Fabrice is giving away for free, will help you check some files for deprecated or removed data refs. This is not a complex tool and it won't do the work for you, but will help you identify a lot quicker the files that you will need to put some work on. Check the link in the video description to find where to download it and again Again, this is a script for developers, it will not make your aircraft work in X-Plane 12 on its own. Georeality released a second version of their global forest product covering North America, Europe and Asia slash Oceania which was developed for X-Plane 12. And I know what you're probably thinking, Laminar Research already improved trees in the sim. This is true but Georeality went above and beyond just like they did with the previous version. Picking up the data from a thorough analysis of the planet's natural forest, the company came out with a way to improve what we see in X-Plane 12, offering us much more and improved variation tree density, tree type and tree height. This means you'll see a lot of different types of trees with a lot of different properties. Global Forest version 2 will replace all the default and third-party tree products you may already have and it is completely independent from any other product out there. Verpa launched a new joystick base that builds on its predecessor and comes with a feature designed for helicopter simmers. What it is, what it does and how it delivers, well, you can find out on the review that we have published this week. Last year I have reviewed the Verpil VPC Mongoose T CM2 which behaved flawlessly and I ended up giving it a rating of 10 out of 10. It's definitely a product I recommend to those that are looking for a modular solution where they can switch grips, bases, pedals, etc. Near the end of that review, I said that the only thing I would change in the joystick base was to add the ability to control friction so that the stick would stay in the same position. This would of course help helicopter pilots to gain better control over the stick without having it fall to the side. Well, guess what? Verpal responded to my request with the VPC Mongoose T50 CEM3 joystick base which now comes with adjustable axis clutch dampers. This is a new system that allows you to remove the center cams, the centering spring, and adjust friction so that you can loosen or tighten the X and Y axes as much or as little as you want. And my verdict? Well, I would really give it an 11 out of 10 if I could. Read the full review on our website and let me know in the comments below. If you are considering getting one of these new bases, I would love to hear from you. Joshua Cowan has released the second update for X-Plane 12, actually the second and third updates as he has released the Bell 206 B3 Jet Ranger and the Bell 206 L3 Long Ranger for the new version of the sim. The update is of course available for free just like Joshua has promised in the past and you can get it at the .org store or at the Cowan simulation website. While this is not a massive update from the X-Plane 11 version, it includes all the new features like new lighting, 
Sting, F Mod Sounds, Flight Model, Rain Effects, and more. Don't forget you can get the Bell 206 B3 and the Bell 206 L3 separately or in a bundle, thus saving you money. And according to Joshua's update roadmap, the 500E will be next, followed by the 222. If you missed our previous news, check out our playlist with all the weekly flyby videos. I will see you on one of those videos and hopefully also next week for another episode of Weekly Flyby. Thank you very much for watching. Until then, take care and fly safe.